Should we get educated? I'm ready. This is edutainment, I think, actually. Having a good time with Big Buddha as we learn all about science, technology, engineering, math. Yeah, it makes those learning those things fun. Mm -hmm. Right, B? I think so. I'm having a great time. Are you guys having a good time back here? We got a studio audience in the building. Yes. Beehive Academy in the house. Uh, we're talking about the Utah STEM Expo. So first off, I got to ask Dan, Carrie, Damon, have you ever imagined yourselves as robots? <laughs> <laughs> I think I feel like one sometimes. I there have this is. recurring dream. I have this recurring dream every Friday, and it's you three in my head as robots. <laughs> we're like Teletubbies with those iPads on our chests. No, no, seriously, take, take a look. Are we good robots or bad robots? <laughs> well, you look good, but you do bad things. <laughs> look at that sinister <laughs> smile, Terry. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, welcome back. We're hanging out at Beehive Academy. Make some noise, Beehive Academy students! We're talking about robots right now. Phoenix, uh, I'm looking at this. It looks it looks like a robot. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Is it a robot? Um, it's more like an animatronic. Okay. And, and how long did it take for you to put this thing together? Um, it took me six months to put it together and a year of planning. Okay. Seriously. Really cool. Tell me tell me what's behind the science, the science behind all this. Okay. Um, the hand here is programmed with Arduino. It has force touch sensors on the fingertips and a light on the inside of his arm, which you can't see, um, lights up whenever someone touches it and it tells the robot that someone has touched it. Um, and it's on a set rotation right now. You can see I'm not doing anything, yeah. but this is the glove that uh, controls it. Okay. Um, so if the glove moves, the hand moves. Yes. So to speak. Okay. Nice job. Not nice job. Give it up. Nice job. All right. Anila, what do you have for us? Um, here, my project is called Scanimations. It's also called Kinogram. Okay. And it's basically where you have the transparent sheet with black and white stripes. Okay. And then you have your Scanimation picture. And when you move it up and down, the object, that's the picture, moves. I can it. see it. It, look, it looks like it's moving. Is it an optical illusion? Is, is yeah. it something in the eye? Yeah, it's type of like an optical illusion. Can you go up and down? Move, move it up and down so that they can... Here, let me, let me see. You got to go slow though, right? Yeah. Look at that. It doesn't matter how. <laughs> <laughs> see? Smart kids correcting me. Nice job. Last but not least, uh, what do you got here, Foster? Um, I've got memory metal. Okay. So you can bend the wire. However you want to. However you want. Okay. Let, 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 okay. Let me have, give me give me one so I can bend it. Here. Okay. Bend it however you want, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then okay. drop it in the water. And drop it in the water. Okay. Now what's the science behind this? Um, there's two phases that it goes into. One that you can bend, and when you heat it up, it goes back to the second. See, it's straight now. That's some Harry Potter stuff right there, man. That's some Wingardium Leviosa for you there, right there. All right. Uh, <laughs> That's all the time we got. We're going to send it back to you guys in the studio, but it's not about me. It's not about you. It's about these guys right here. Yeah. It's about those guys giving us good ideas. I'm going to steal and make some money off of it.